Hi friends, welcome back to Amazing Women's World. In this video, I've come up with square neck designer blouse. Thanks to one and all for watching and subscribing to my channel. If you're watching for the first time, I would be welcoming. I'm Radha, fashion designer. Please do subscribe and stay tuned to watch more videos of latest fashions and trends. Let me elaborate the pattern. The back deep neck blouse with the square shape giving piping and the patchwork with the contrast colors and to elevate we are using the gold lace also with the beautiful dory hanging so let's start and for this project i'll be using this gold color jute fabric this is also having the rich border i'm using a little of the border and the lining of the same color and the contrast color of brocade for designing so for the back panel i'll be taking the length of 15 inches wherein 14 inches is my required length and 1 inch for the seaming elements mark the margin line on the top mark the neck width of 3 inches and the shoulder length of 3 and half inches on the shoulder line come down 1 inch for the shoulder slope connect that to the neck line mark the armhole length of 6 and half inches and mark the chest line of 9 and half inches also 1 and half inches for the seaming elements please take a note that the measurements can be customized as per your requirement and here marking the quarter part of the body measurements the bodice blouse is having checks with the jute work which is looking very plain so I want to design on this to elevate I'd be using the contrast color with the simple things you can create wonders mark the armhole measurements and also mark the waist line measurements of 8 and of inches with the seaming elements of 1 and of inches connect that to the chest line Mark quarter inch seaming elements towards the arm hole, shoulder line. Mark the neck deep of 12 inches. Give 1 cm seaming elements and cut accordingly on the marked dotted lines. Now I lay this on the lining and cut accordingly the same measurement. Now I am ready with the lining and the pretty side of the blouse. Now I will cut the patch for designing. Fold the fabric like this and lay the trimmed piece on this which is having neck length and width measurements. Just adjacent to the marked lines, I would be marking one and a half inches for the strip and down to this two and a half inches for the center.
cut on this true lines This is how the patch looks. Now I lay all three together. Lay the lining of the blouse, then pretty part on that brocade. Aligning all three together give the basting stitch for securing and to have the exact shapes. I'll be using the contrast color thread for the visibility and give the edge seaming. Also using the contrast color bias which is matching to the blouse as the blouse border is having pink. Using the pink raw silk bias tee conceal one side of raw edge folding towards the wrong side and give the stitch line. Now I'd be joining this bias to the neckline, placing right on right, start sewing with 1 cm seaming elements. You should sew towards the raw edge. Ensure to match the right sides together. Start sewing. Reaching towards the end, move the complete bodies like this and make it straight and join. The two corners of the square should make it straight, placing the bias on the top, sew it. Now give the angled slits towards the corner ends. And flip the bias towards the wrong side, giving the piping like this so adjacent to this piping the thickness of the piping depends upon your requirement as i want to give the thin piping look so folding the extreme bias towards the wrong side just adjacent to this piping giving the top stitch you can see the other side how pretty the piping is looking thick in volume and thin the requirement you have to sew just adjacent to the piping reaching towards the corner of the square make it straight as we saw previously like that and give the top stitch Again snip at the corner of the squares to 
get the perfect shape of this square with the piping with the gap of 1 cm seaming elements give the top stitch so that the underneath left seaming elements will be properly settled or else it will slip when you wear it or else you can also do hand hem see like this the underneath left with seaming elements will be concealed now I'd be joining the gold lace towards the neckline and also towards the raw edges of this patch for the final finishings place the lace just adjacent to the piping and give the top stitch this type you can also try for the kurtis necklines Lehenga blouses, crop tops and the long gowns. Also place the lace towards the raw edge of the patch and start sewing. Give the double stitches for the long run. Now I'd be joining the dory to this neckline. Wanna go with simple designer blouse? Try this. You'd love to wear it. With the simple things you can create designer patterns. Try and share your wonderful experience. Having any doubts? Do write to me in the comment section just below the description box. It's turned out pretty beautiful. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please support by hitting the like button. Also share this video in your community of circles. May be useful to them. Please leave your valuable suggestions and recommendations which really means a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned to watch more.